Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to Patrick's Parabox. Uh, this is a puzzle game I have been excited about for some time. It just came out today uh, and it is a block pushing puzzle. It's a little Sokobani, but it's got some meta spatial elements that I do not even want to try to describe to you. I'll just, I'll just show you, I'll just show you the thing. But before we get into this, I do want to say this is a puzzle game and by the very nature of it, you know, by watching the Let's Play, you are spoiling some of the stuff for yourself. So like, if you get to a point in the video where you're like, this is really cool, I might like to play this, just pa pause the video, go buy it, support indie game developers, play excellent video games, and then when you're done, you, you can come back and I'll be right here. It's part of the magic of the format, right? So yeah, without any further ado, let us enter the Parabox. I'll just, I'll just show you what I mean to say, which I am not, I am afraid, going to be able to explain to you in words. So, seems pretty straightforward to start with here. Put the boxes on the things. Uh, is this, there's an undo button. Is this the kind of puzzle pu uh, block pushing game? Yes, it is. The kind of block pushing game where you can push more than one block at once. Some of them are sticky about that. Um, oh, right, yeah, there's enough room in here that I can push this in and still get behind it. Okay, never mind. Didn't get stumped by the third puzzle. We're doing it. Okay, so here you're going to see one of the things that makes this game special. One of the, one of the core parabox elements. You can just shove this block down inside of this other block. There we go. And then use this as a path to there. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. One of the things that is uh, is quite common in the promotional materials. <laughs> okay, easy. Here's the thing about video games. They're very easy. I'm definitely not going to get frustratingly stru stuck at any point in this and just like totally embarrass myself in front of literally fives of viewers. I was so like, I was so scared to do. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I can't push this. Okay, no, we cannot push it down while we are inside of it. It matters a lot what scale we are at while we are trying to interact with objects. Um. Anyway. What I was saying is, I was very scared to do puzzle games on the channel for a long time. Um, so nervous about getting stuck in something and then um, just not being able to get out of it and how embarrassing that is. I'm really glad that I sort of got over that because, gosh, that Baba Is You series was super fun. And I'm hoping that this will be this will be just as good. So does this work? OK, that does work. Even though I was a different scale than the yellow block, I can still push it. Okay, I'm sure that's going to be important later. Um, and we're probably going to blaze through some of these early ones, but don't... Don't worry, there will be puzzles where I will talk more about my thought process and stuff as we're figuring things out. So sometimes the spaces that need to be satisfied are going to be inside of different scales in the puzzle which is, I'm sure, going to get very complicated and difficult to remember. Um, also, I do want to note, is my cursor? Yeah, my cursor is visible. Um, I really appreciate that you can undo a reset, because it is very common now for puzzle games to have ro like pretty robust undo systems, but it is not always the case. Sometimes a reset like drops a new hard point, and the undo will only go back to there. So I really appreciate it being implemented in the way that it is here. Okay, so this is all right, this is just a new a new level select. What have we here? Ah, general puzzle solving tips. Undo, redo, and reset are useful tools. Don't be afraid to use them often. Oh, don't worry, we will. Not only because I'm going to get stuff wrong in the puzzles, but also because I am clumsy and I over push blocks all the time. Uh, it can be helpful to imagine how the puzzle will look when solved and work backward from there. Figuring out things that don't work can be helpful to narrow down your options. You're going to see this a lot. A big part of the way that I figure things out is by just trying strategies until we get to the point where they break. 
Uh, <laughs> trying a different puzzle and coming back later can give you a fresh view. This was... This is a thing we almost certainly will do as, as they start to get difficult. This was critical for uh, for me and Baba is you. And the puzzles are meant to be challenging. Listen, there's no expectation of solving them quickly, says Patrick. But, you know, I'm out here trying not to trying not to be embarrassed while making YouTube contents. That does create some expectations. Uh, so in order to push the blue block to the right after we get it down there, we're going to have to tuck it inside of this, use this other block as like a carrying case. <laughs> then we get it down here. And yeah, this, sh this should work, right? Because we can still push it when we're on a different scale than it is. Yeah, okay. This is very similar, except that we're not going to be able to push the blue block into the case up here because we won't be able to retrieve the case. But that's not that's not a big deal. We can just do it down here, right? Yeah, this is fine. There we go. Uh, this one doesn't seem too complicated. So if you've not played a lot of these block pushing uh, games, a huge element of them is always just like watching for the situations where you're going to push something into a position where you can't get it back out again. <laughs> I think I see. I think I see what we're supposed to do here. That does, that does work like that. That's very cute. I like that a lot. Um, so you always got to watch out for pushing things against walls and especially for pushing things into corners where they become completely unmaneuverable. Is this a challenge level maybe? Okay, so I have to get below the blue block. I can't push this up or it gets stuck in the corner like I was saying. But we can just to one of these, right? Well, hold on. How much space is there? When I come out of this, I'm going to be... No, this, sh this should be fine, right? So we push this out to here. We push you back up. And then we have recreated the original... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about we get this in here? Yeah, this, this is better. Move the block up first. Use it to carry the blue box upward. There we go. It is absolutely possible to just look at these and work out the places where things are not going to work, where you are going to have to do something different, but um, it will often be the case that I just do the thing that's not gonna work, even if I see that it's not gonna work, just that I can like lay hand to the situation in which it has not worked because that'll, that'll be easier for my brain to uh, conceptualize a solution from. So zoom in and out with the mouse. Okay, cl actually click on a box to zoom into it, okay. So I see, we cannot in this upper space push the orange space against a wall and in order to push the blue block up into it because we won't be able to retrieve it. But we could if we put it inside the green space because green space has an uneven ceiling. So we just do like, wait, no, not this, sorry. We want to put it over against here. Push that up so that's satisfied. There we go. I'm very nervous about the moment when these challenge levels are going to become <laughs> going to become difficult enough that I can't just solve them right away. Uh, wait, have a plan, Salen. How am I going to get the blue block through the? I, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preload the blue block into the top of the thing. There we go. There we go. We don't have to push it through the corner. We just have to be able to get through the corner ourselves. So we can avoid the common edge and cornering problems of block push, 
puzzles by just creating additional space within some of the blocks. Um, so I'm gonna need to... Wait, what is the purpose of these blue blocks? Cause like, oh, I see, I see, I see. Cause we're gonna have to have this here so that we can crawl through it and get out to the left and then push it right to get it off of the left wall to go up there. And we need the blue blocks because this has to be able to stay in this position when we press down against it. Okay. There we go. This is fundamentally the same puzzle, right? Cause we have this situation where we need to, this either needs to be in the top or the left space. And we, yeah, six is enough, right? We have enough boxes that we can just create a pillar here to support that, fill all the rest of these in because we have to move in last. There we go. What is, okay, it's, so it's just like, um, it's a block space that just doesn't have blocks around the outside of it. Hold on, what am I actually doing? I just need to bring one box outside, okay. <laughs> oh, I like this, this is very cute. I'm having a really good time. I hope everybody else is as into this as I am. Okay, so we just gotta push this up a space and then up a space and then up a space and then up a space. That's all. Yeah, good. What is... Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into it. So this puzzle contains itself. Okay. So this is the only box in the thing. This is what's going to have to go in the upper right. So I can push into this and then crawl out the bottom of it and then just do the same thing again. There we go. Yo dog, I heard you like puzzles. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Um, so then, then we have to, I have to go outside of the box so that I can go back into here. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. It's a little, it's a little dizzying, isn't it? So... This is funny. My first instinct was to push the yellow box into the thing to use it as a carrying case to move it down. But I don't have to do that because the yellow box is already in there. I can tell that this conceptually, this is a thing I'm gonna struggle with a little bit. The yellow box is already in there. We don't have to move it in. We can just move it out, but then it's still in. But wait, how am I gonna get back I don't need to get back out. Everything's fine. We can just we can just push this into here because I'm already in the puzzle. Mechanically, the thing that we just did there was very simple. Conceptually, like I, I had this moment again where we were like right here where I was like, crap, I can never get back to the top part of the puzzle again as though this isn't a space that I'm already in. This, I can tell this is a thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle to grasp intuitively. Okay, so this is just... <laughs> I really enjoy watching the puzzle go past outside of the puzzle. That's really, that's really cool. So we just push that there and then push ourselves out the same way. Okay. So wait, what am I doing here? I have to get above this to push it back down into this space while I'm above it, but then I also have to get to the right of it somehow. So 
So I can't, I can't like push myself out here to force the puzzle down a block. No. The different, different puzzle scale. So hold on, we, but we can do it here. Yeah, I can push myself out. The realities of which things can be pushed at which scales. This is gonna be a little complicated. So wait, aren't I just going to get stuck though? No, because I can push this to here and I can jump out of the puzzle, which I am already inside of. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm we're, we're, I'm getting there. We're working it out. So this is very common if you don't play a lot of puzzle games, I guess. Um, that we don't need to do every puzzle to actually advance to the next area, but we are we are going to at the very least give every puzzle in the game a real try. I can't promise you that we will hundred percent it, but like. I'm, I'm going to try real hard to 100% it. So... Okay. We're going to have to push the yellow box up to here. We're, yeah, we're going to have to push it in from below, get it to this junction, and then come back from this side. So how do I make that happen? If I can't get the box... All right, what I can do is I can push it in from here. Yeah, and then shove it to there and then go back inside. By the way, I just want to note that I, I pushed this into here and then I immediately was like, so now I'm going to go back out the left like I needed to exit the space again. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult for me to conceptualize being at all levels of the space simultaneously. So we do, well, but I'm not going to be able to push this up from here. Was that in the corner to start with? It was in the corner to start with. Okay. How am I going to, how am I going to push the box into, oh, I'm, I see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Once again, having the same conceptualization issue. <laughs> The thing is, I can push it here, and then I can go outside of the puzzle. The reason they've given us this little walk around space here is so that you can do that with it. Okay, there we go. So that you can push that block down and then walk around it to get underneath. It is interesting that they don't make you enter the puzzles from the appropriate direction. So... I need to be able to get to the right of this. Wait, what am I? Okay, well, I see it, I see it. The, th the core issue is we can't move around this thing because in order to, ha in order to push right far enough to enter this space on the right, we have to press it against the wall. Except that it is a space that contains us, and so we can go inside and just exit it. Wait, wait, wait. But I need to need to make sure this is over the mouth of the entrance first. And that way I can exit the space and do yep, yeah, okay. There we go. I like this very much. I'm I am having a great time already. Okay, one more. What is this? Okay, it's the it's the level select, right? I mean, I guess these are all the achievement that I just got was called level select select. So, yeah, I guess that is what it is. Okay. Empty. What are we? Oh, okay. It's so it's just a it's a subspace that's completely empty. It has no blocks in it, which we're going to have to, okay. This is not, um, there we go. There we are. It's a block. It's just also no blocks, you know, simple. So, okay. We can use this space as a way of creating, when I push this up, 
it goes in the middle, yeah. So we can use this space as a way of creating a spot where I can press against the roof, but we still have room to the left to push this thing back out to get it to here. <laughs> okay, how many levels in do we have to go here? So there's a... Oh, I see, okay. So you have to push the brown space out of the blue space so that we can push the blue space into the brown space so that we can fill the box. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty curious about something. If I put the green box against the wall and then I press the brown box against it, do I enter the brown box or the brown box consumes the green box. Okay. <laughs> Vores it, if you will. Uh, I apologize. First subspace, now Vor. This is the filthiest puzzle series I've ever done. Wait, what do we do here? Because I need the brown space to be... So if we push the green block into the brown space, then we push the brown space into this. I could go inside of the brown space, push the green block out downward, and then jump in the middle. Except that I can't push the green block into the brown space without both of them ending up against a wall. Well, you know, one of them ends up against the wall and then the other one is against the wall too, but the first one's not anymore. I, the puzzles are going to be difficult to talk about, I can tell. Oh, well, I guess, hold on. It's not a problem if we just do it this way, though. Right, and then I can push in here, push that out above. There we go. Wow, yeah, you really, you do not need to do very much on this one. What is, why does this one look like it doesn't have walls? Oh, cause that's not, you don't start on the top layer of that puzzle. Okay. Well, actually looking at this, I can tell that I've already screwed it up. We wanna, we wanna push these out before we leave the blue space. Because once we're out of the blue space, it's not trivial to get back inside. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. So we have to nest these. It has to be the blue. The space with the ceiling has to go against the ceiling. And then I can't, I can't push the green block into the orange space yet, but I can push them, push them both into the blue space and fix it in there. Yeah. All right, so we can put this here. And then that gives us enough room to get below it. There we go. All right, hold on. I jumped past some challenge puzzles there because I was curious about a thing. I guess stuff like, this is why I was like, I'm surprised they don't make you enter the puzzle from the appropriate side, but right, I had already forgotten. Most of the puzzles are, are blocked off on all sides. That's not even a thing. Um, okay, so if we pushed all the green blocks into the blue space and then, no, I was, the first thing I thought was if we push everything into the blue space, then put the blue space right here, we can just push a green block out up and then another one down and then jump out ourselves. But that does not, logistically, that's impossible in a couple of ways. How do I do this? So in order to not lose access to moving the blue space, it has to be against one of the walls here. It has to be at the top or the bottom of the column. And then... We can't just put the other boxes in because I won't be able to get through anymore. So what we need to do... I can just leave this one in space in, in the place, right, though? Like, this works. 
Yeah, push this back out and then climb out of the blue space. Yeah. Okay. So we can, okay. We can get the blue space off of the left wall and then use it to get the green block off of the right wall. Wait, I was about to push this out to the left, but that doesn't actually solve any of our problems. Hold on. I need to get this off of the wall and then push the green block out upward so that it's in the middle of space. Okay. Yeah, I was going to just pin that to the floor instead, and then... <laughs> okay. This feels very much like that one we did where we made the column of blocks, right? Oh, except I guess it's... Sorry. What if I just pressed the wrong direction every single time? So... Oh, but am I going to be able to get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my momentary concern there was like, how do I then get this over to the left? But the same way I was planning to do everything. Go inside of it, get out of it, push it. And then, and then I think we should be able to just shove these both out like this. I guess we don't know for sure if you can use... We know that when we're at small scale, we can push a block of a larger scale. But we don't know for sure if that works with us pushing a block of our scale into a block of a larger scale. And it does. I mean, it basically had to, right? I did not, I did not have another solution for that puzzle. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. So we're going to have to use the blue one to carry a block over to the right. Why do I need three shapes? Because like we do, I see, I see, I see. What I was thinking is we just do this and then we push that blue block over into the right corner. But yeah, th this is why we need a third shape because you literally can't do that. Um, there's no way to push that blue block from there. So we need to tuck the blue block inside the green shape first. And we want to put the orange shape inside the blue shape. Does that have to happen now or? Well, we certainly won't be able to do it when it's up here in the corner. There's not enough room. But I can't, the, the hesitation I'm having here is it doesn't look like it's possible to push the orange inside the blue right now and still be able to get the blue inside the green because you'd have to push the blue against the ceiling. Oh, right, but, 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 this space creates an uneven ceiling relative to the world around it. So, yeah, we can just do that. And then... Here we go. This is a solution. Just gotta remember, the spaces exist inside the spaces. <laughs> Okay, so obviously blue space in the corner up there. Ah, except I can't actually get this upward because it has to be the orange space. We put the, we put the, okay, we put the orange space here. We tuck the blue space into it for a second because I can use the orange space this way. And then I need to get the blue space out. Well, actually, this is this is fine because they they have open verticals, right? So we can do this. And then when I get to here, will I enter the orange space or will the orange space enter the blue space? OK, that's yeah, that's the way I needed that to work. Once again, if it didn't work that way, I'm not sure how it would be solvable, so.
Remembering the, the pushing rules when there are two different things that can happen is going to be something that's going to trip me up, I bet. So... We can get this down off the wall. And then... Is this one really this straightforward? Okay, I guess so. Well, I, sorry, that was a non-challenge level, right? You can definitely feel the like the complexity difference between the red levels and the other ones. Um, okay. So Why can I not just Oh, I see it. Okay. I was going to say, why don't we just push the green block up and into the space and then push the blue block up and into the space. But it's a little, it's a little more complicated than that because of this thing getting stuck on the left wall. So you have to do it this way. Wait, how do I get it down? I don't get it down. I didn't have to do that that way. It's fine. I, do, I don't get it down. I eject the green block downward. And then I don't exit the puzzle again. I had a very strong urge to come out here and finish the puzzle from here, but you don't have to do that. You're already in the space. Every time we change scale, my brain, my brain wants to follow the object that changed. Um, okay, so... This is like, shove the... Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> I want to just enter from the top of the puzzle, but the puzzle has to be moved first. I mean, is it a problem to just do this? Because then I can shove it over... Like, I can do this, right? And then we can just shove this over here and go out the... Right, because that's, yeah, that's not how that works. What happens if I push this out the bottom of itself? Oh. Oh, infinity, is it? <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little, it's a little bit more bounded than infinity is usually represented as being in video games. And I can't, I can't get back into the... Well, I've destroyed the connection between these spaces and their own interiors. Now they're just blocks. Now they're just blocks floating in space. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's existentially challenging. Let's not engage with it any further. Wait, why don't I just push the things out the... Because that's... Because it's in the same... It's in the same row that it was just in. But that's not true of the block that's on the bottom. There it is. There's the answer. So this is fine. And then we just move this out of the way, push this down so that when we push something out the top of it, yeah, it emits into a different row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's much simpler than I was making it. Have to remember that the spaces are, they are themselves, but they are also emitters for all objects and spaces contained within them. And so positionally, yep. Okay. Okay. We might do, let's do one more. We'll do, we'll do just this one more area and then we'll call it for the day, I think. Provided that I can do that. Um, right? This area was called Eat. Makes me a little, a little nervous, I guess. All right, we just have to be careful when we push stuff against walls and into corners. This doesn't feel like eat so much as feed, I will say. So wait, why doesn't this just... Ah, because it's too tall. 
because the room is not tall enough to do the simple version of this thing, which is just push it down on everything. But I can push it like partway down and then reset it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fine. This is very satisfying. Even like puzzle game relative, I really like making the things go and the spaces and the lines light up. It's there's a tactility to it. That's really nice. So we, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, hey, this one also looks easy. We just put the thing in the corner and then push the yellow block through it. But the thing has its own corner. <laughs> So we got to do one of these. There we go. See, if you just make it about food, I can understand it. Food I get. So, okay. I was going to say, isn't this just push this into the corner and then push the yellow block out the bottom, but we can't do that because of this peg here. But if I do this, there we go. These puzzles are really pegging us. Uh, so we have to, we have to, we have to feed the puzzle this time because we can't push it up against the wall safely or push it up against the ceiling safely. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we just have to feed the blue thing. The green space has to be the last thing to go in. It has to be the top thing. This may be a better way to think about it. It has to be the top thing going into the blue space. So... Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. Just like do this without pushing anything against any new walls. This should work, right? Yeah, I like that very much. That's that's very compelling. Okay. I don't like these yellow blocks in these positions because I don't know what they're for and that immediately makes me nervous. So we have to enter the green space from the bottom by... So we can, we can feed the green space to the blue space pretty easily. But then how do we... We push it. Hmm. So we could re-enter it and push the green space out the bottom, but that doesn't really do anything for us. We can just push it downward onto the yellow square, and that gets the green square out of the little divot, but it doesn't actually make it enterable. And now the blue... The blue space is stuck. Huh. Hmm. I do not see what to do here. So we can push the green space to the right and then have the blue space consume it from that side, but that still ends up with us very stuck. <clears throat> what is the what is the utility of this yellow box? What is the utility of the yellow boxes in general? This one is positioned such that it can be it can be retrieved. If I just push this up into the middle of space and then use it as an emitter, we can do that with it. But what does that actually do for me? 
Because, like, the... Having another block doesn't seem like it helps with the green thing problem at all. So we could use it to prop the blue space one tile away from the left or top wall and still be able to enter it and or push objects into it. But that's not, like, how is that useful? Hmm. What if I... Okay, so if we use it as a spacer here, it lets me cut through this. I don't have to... I didn't have to do it that way. <laughs> Space already contains me. It lets me cut through this and exit from here while it's in that column instead of having to be all the way against the wall column. But, like, why is that good? I could already... With the yellow with the yellow box not there, I could have just walked around the puzzle and been here. Huh. I don't have okay, you know what? Can we We'll come back. We'll come back. We're gonna go look at some other puzzles and we'll come back. Cause I have no idea. And that's like that's the most dangerous kind of difficult. That puzzle's not difficult because it has a lot of things going on in it. We don't know how to combine them. It's a very small number of pieces, and the difficulty is conceptual, which is the hardest. Like, there's some kind of intuitive leap I'm going to have to make there, which is the hardest kind of solution to force yourself into. And also, it means that a bunch of people in the audience figured out the solution already and are mad at me now. <laughs> so we're just going to we're going to move on and come back here. This one seems much more doable. <laughs> okay, and then I have to, in order to enter it from below, I have to push it up here. There we go. Okay, yeah, because we have to we have to push this up manually before we put the other box in, or there'll be no way to get these arranged correctly. Yeah, hey, what a surprise. It turns out the non the non challenge puzzles are less challenging. What is this one? Oh. Huh. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. This might be a solution with like a piece of something that we need for later. And then how do I? Oh no, it is a it is a currently playable puzzle. Okay, I thought it was like I thought we'd found a treasure map because it's like it's outlined in a different color and everything. So, oh, this is the this is the place where we're supposed to end up. The equal sign. So the two. Okay, the two is a space that is defined. You know what? I actually really like this because this makes it look more like programming. We have a we have a like a uh, an object definition over to the side here that I have to ma manually scope into the rest of the puzzle, and that's actually a lot easier for me. Yes. Yeah, so then we press out like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But if I push this right again, we're gonna get stuck. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why that's... Huh. Okay. I wonder why that's like that. Questions that will presumably be answered uh, later on. I am not, like, I'm not trying to expect this game to have any kind of, like, Baba is you level stuff in it, but... Who knows? There may be more here than meets the eye. So, why is this difficult? I mean, let's just try the thing that looks... So we want... Okay, I guess we have to, like, we have to test the functionality of something here. So, if I... Here, let me move this to the side. 
if I do this, what happens? The bad thing, okay. And once we've got a block pushed into one of the green spaces, it, we can never get it back out. Okay, how do we deal with that? It's actually a really good question. How do we deal with that? Okay, well, I have another question. If we, um, actually, one thing I'm really curious about, what happens if I do this? Okay, the block we're pushing tends to slide in rather than, I guess, like I knew I wasn't going to go into the blue block, but I wasn't sure if the blue block would eat the green block or if it would get eaten by the green block. Hmm. So I guess it's worth testing, although I can't imagine it would be different. This works the same way, right? Yeah. The green block eats rather than being eaten. So we could prevent that from happening. If we pushed a green block into the blue block first and pushed it like way up into the top of the thing and then climbed back out and had it consume the rest of the stuff. But how would I do that without getting the blue block pinned against the ceiling? Irretrievably. Well, we don't have an uneven ceiling, but we do have an uneven floor. So we can do this. But I guess once I push the, once I push the blue block down here, we're not gonna be able to get it back up. Patrick, don't you look at me with those recriminating eyes. I don't know if the box is named Patrick. The game developer is named Patrick, so probably not. Well, okay, but what about this, though? That's, I do not want to do that. What about... We insert these blocks. This isn't going to change anything. I'm still, I'm going to end up with the two yellow blocks inside there easily, and then having the same problem. This doesn't make anything any better. Yeah, the issue is that with the with this box having an opening on two opposite sides, we can't use any of the boxes as spacers. I mean, I guess we couldn't anyway because we need them all to end up in the bottom side anyway. Hmm. Well, this one's a challenge. Okay, another question that's probably not relevant to this particular level, but that I'm just curious about. What about in a formation like this? Okay, the thing at the top stays and everything else gets shoved up. It is not, I was wondering if the green box directly above us would get pushed in. Not that it would matter. Hmm. All right, hold on. There's one more we can look at, right? So this is quite similar to a puzzle that we just did. Well, I don't, that might have been a while ago at this point, but a puzzle that we did this episode, certainly. So the problem here is that we don't have an uneven ceiling to push this thing against on this scale, but we do have an uneven ceiling inside of the puzzle. We just have to, oops. So I want to, just get both of these in here and then we can 
you can work the puzzle a bit in here. There we go. And that should be it, right? Yeah, okay, why can't why can't you all be like that one? Here, we'll give we'll give each of these one more look, and then this might be where we call it for um, for this episode. And give me time to think about these and, and figure on them. Um hmm. So it is still the case that I don't really understand the purpose of these yellow blocks and i'm sure understanding what they what they can do for us is like critical there's absolutely no reason not to do this this just gains us a tool and doesn't cost us anything but then we have to figure out what to do from here and we can't ever let one of the one of the yellow boxes enter the green box because then we'll, we'll never be able to get to the space we need to get to inside of it. Hmm. If we could get it arranged somehow, so like the green space was where our character is now, and we pushed the blue space onto them, it would push the green space into here and then to here, and it would be in a column where it's enterable. Or if we could just get the green space into the blue space without confining the blue space so much, such that we could push the yellow block in behind the green space, that would also work. But we can't do that, right? Because if I if I push this down to eat now, and then come out the right side, push it left, we can't get out the bottom side of this puzzle to push it upward without pushing the green space down, which makes the puzzle unsolvable. It feels like it feels like this is a thing you can do and so it's a thing that has value, but those are not necessarily <laughs> the same thing. Pushing the green space outside of this space is not useful. I don't think. We can do this, but like what's... If we hadn't pushed, if we hadn't pushed the blue space into a three-walled corner within itself, that might be useful, but yeah, gosh, I don't know what to do about this. And if I push this down now, it's just gonna eat the yellow block, which is like doubly bad. Okay, I might I might need to take a minute on that. We might have to come back to that one tomorrow. Let's take one more quick look at this. And this this may be the same. I just need to get one of these. There's something I'm actually pretty curious about, but I don't even know how I would test it. I'm curious whether a green block, a, a green space inside of the blue space would, it, it wouldn't consume a yellow block when the yellow block is pushed into the blue space, right? The yellow block and the green space being different scales. I guess we can test it kind of like this. Like, is this fine? That is fine. What if we push another thing in? Will it will it compress the yellow block into the green space? Or no, it will not. Okay, that's very interesting. So now we have a way that we can fill up the bottom part of the puzzle. 
It's just that I cannot then get into the top part. Unless we come up with something clever. Hmm. So once we've got it pushed up against a ceiling like that, there's no way to get it back down. Um, if we press it against a yellow block and try to push stuff into it from below, it consumes the yellow block first. The interactions always happen at the far end of the chain from the push first. So we couldn't even do that to use a yellow block as a spacer, which we then move. But even if we could do that, it wouldn't matter because we'd never be able to get the yellow block off the ceiling and we do need it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think maybe we've reached our first actual uh, stopping block here. And maybe that's a good time to end the episode. So my intention with this series is to have roughly another hour or so, barring any... Uh, <laughs> any extended situations of being stuck uh, every weekday thank you all so much for watching i hope that you're as into this as i am this seems super cool i hope that you are watching this after having paused the video early on going to buy the game and having played past this point and then come back that's that's the optimal world because i want this thing to do super well it's just it's so cool um anyway thank you all so much for watching when you come back next time tomorrow I will either have some idea what to do with these puzzles or we'll give up on them. And then another hour of puzzling goodness. And we'll see you then.